I'd like to start today's video with a bit of a warning because it's really a promotional video for the two companies that you see in the thumbnail. My name is William Hutchison. I'm the owner of those two real estate companies living in Armenia, Colombia. I've lived in Colombia for 13 years and in Armenia itself for almost 12. It'll be 12 years on October the 26th. Today I want to uh, talk about uh, why uh, we are the only uh, companies that you should consider if you're looking at renting or buying in Armenia, Colombia. If advertising is not your bag, it certainly isn't for me, then uh, maybe you should uh, uh, close the video now and move on to something else. I want to start first of all with the requirements that an expat expects uh, in dealing uh, with real estate. And to be very clear, this is not like you're moving from Atlanta to Los Angeles or Houston, Texas or New York City or Seattle or Philadelphia or anywhere else. Because within the continent, uh, continental United States and Canada, Europe as well, uh, there are certain standards that agents have to meet. So your expectations, uh, for the most part, obviously there's good agents and there's better agents, that, uh, are, are met. When you're coming to a, a different country, it's a completely different story. In Colombia itself, and I, I've covered this off in... Uh, maybe just kind of touched on it in other videos. There's no MLS system here. So when there's no MLS system, there's no way of, of um, uh, recording uh, values for sale purposes, for listing purposes. But the bigger thing is there's no agent control. There's no agent education. There's no agent licensing. There's no agent um, registration. But the biggest thing for me is there's no agent discipline. If you're not licensed or registered, you have nothing to lose. And uh, to be honest, it's a free for all. Someone here becomes an agent by posting six words on Facebook or some other social media site, it takes a couple of minutes and they say, I am a real estate agent. And they are. That's, that's the long and the short of it. And that's what you're going to get when you um, don't know, uh, first of all, the system or an agent that can look after you. My apologies to two agents here that I know, English speaking, one with many years of experience in Florida real estate, and another that has a lot of American clients, also English speaking. And that's one of the big um, handicaps to someone coming here is finding someone uh, English speaking because there just, there just aren't many. Even servicing between agents lacks uh, a lot of, for lack of a better word, uh, respect. It's often days until you get a, a call back. Uh, I had a recent experience here where uh, people wanted to look at five listings. I called the agent, it was around 10 o'clock in the morning and I got a call back at 4.30 the next afternoon. So about a 30 hour uh, wait time uh, to um, find out about the five listings. This agent has 600 listings and many of them for four, five, and six years. The, her reason for that is she keeps them on her website. If you see something of interest, you call her and it gives her the opportunity to direct you to something else or to upsell you. It's not the way business should be done. I suppose she's found it advantageous uh, for sales and that's okay. But 
as an example on my five that I called her on, they were all sold. So am I going to deal with her in the future? Uh, as little as possible. I just want to close by saying the only people, persons, that know what you expect would be a fellow expat. I've been through the real estate business um, or in the real estate business a long time. I built and sold a lot of homes. I've sold a lot of homes personally. I know what people expect uh, when they come here. They want good service. They want um, answers uh, right away uh, to their questions. They want direction. They want advice maybe. Uh, and I'm not uh, one to hold back on the, on the advice. Um, and the only thing I can really uh, compare it to is if you were buying a dress, would you go to a shoe store? If you wanted a car, would you go to a restaurant? If you wanted some medical advice, why would you go to the bank? So when you have a fellow expat here that knows what you want, knows the market, practices fiduciary duty, uses the American Realtor Code of Ethics as our standard operating procedure, bilingual, uh, market knowledge, uh, and it's all free. I don't know why you would want to go anywhere else. That's it for today. The choice is yours. William Hutchison, Armenia, Columbia Realty for Expats, and Salento, Columbia Realty, signing off. Have a great weekend. I'm going to, because I live in paradise, and you can too.